Nation. <laughs> right, okay, let's go. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, well, so what, you, you need my, uh, you need my boring monotonal voice to, uh, stop you tilting, basically. Oh, you should, you should see how bad I tilt when I play League of Legends. Eventually I'm gonna be streaming League of Legends and, yeah, fail. I'm bad at it. Yay, sub-130 hype. I, uh, oh damn, I forgot to practice something. I needed to practice and be able to do a chest turn before this, uh, before this run. Because, you know, RNG manipulation. Is my sound quality going already? Really? Oh yes, what was I saying before? About, uh, my sponsors. Um, yeah, so, without them I couldn't function. They are the best, like, in the entire world at feeding pet mole dorms. Um, and, uh, so yeah, basically, they take people's PBs and they feed them to mole dorm. And um, without them, I couldn't be functioning. So, big shout outs to them. And I mean, 999 rupees is very reasonable. I mean, for what you get. You know what? First ever perfect log cave. I mean, what the hell? So, um, Angel, do you, like, speedrun at all, or are you just really interested in this game? Or, another question would be, are you so disinterested in League of Legends? I was reading that and I forgot to text skip. <laughs> oh, speed running twisted tree line. So, um, why is it Link's Awakening that you watch so most playing? Oh, seriously, Flynn? That sucks. How close were you? Oh. Well, actually, the thing is, chest turning is um, RNG manipulation. It's a proven fact. Alright. Fair enough.
Do you watch any of the other speedrunners, Angel? Ooh, tied a world record. That must suck. I mean, if you're struggling to cope with, like, if you're struggling to cope with that, um, I know Zorlax knows how to cope with tying a world record. So if you hear me counting, it's because of peace power. You see, because I sponsor Moldorm food, I don't get trolled by the mini Moldorm. Uh, I'm not sure if I can say the same with the big Moldorm. The one that got fed enough to get boss status. It's three. So hang on. That means that Link's Awakening and League of Legends is quite similar. Because things get fed. Worst menu in history. So, I have to test my theory at the end of this dungeon. But, I think so far this is a run that's, that's not looking quick. It's more just, it's safe, that's what it is. I mean that I guess that's definitely what I need for uh, sub one thirty is I just need a clean run. Oh, it sucks missing the easy tricks. Oh, that's that's good. Dude. Point it up straight away. You see, this is why I have uh, Moldorm Food as my sponsor. Incidentally, that's almost my first sub one. Th that's almost my first sub eight minute Talki. Tell Dungeon Mother. Um. Well, um, <laughs> oh, now I feel pressure because now I don't want to screw up. Right, so yeah, I'm not going to attempt to just, I'm not going to attempt to be majorly fast or like just rush everything in this. I'm just going to try and be consistent and safe in this one. I also need to kill a heck of a lot more enemies. So far, I believe I'm only on three extras. Five. Seven. Fail.
taking the hit um, wasn't too bad for me there. Oh wow, my god wow, I did not expect to go gold there. So I knew I was going to be quite a lot ahead just because in my PB I actually died to that um, moblin boss. But I didn't expect to gold it. Too, too many kills. I forgot, I forgot if I had a enter D2 split there. I was trying to be careful on that jump because of how many times I screw that, that room up. Was not going to get that. Should not have killed that. So I can only kill uh, four before the um, third dungeon to be optimal. I must not screw this one up. Safe jumping. Took a bit of extra time there because I didn't want to screw up that quick kill like I've been doing recently. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't go there. I don't know. I. I sort of thought I would gold. Oh well. I 
felt like a mega quick split for me that. Oh, double shameful. Thankfully, this next dungeon, Bow Wow can't screw me over with. on where I need to be. Ah. Right, so I have to make sure I get hit in a room. I've done that before. Like switch the sword before the uh, digging animations finished. But that first part of a uh, villa skip, though. Oh, oh my god! And this uh, second part. I don't want to speak too soon, but Flynn, <laughs> you can get everyone. I think I'm gonna get sub 130. If I don't screw up. <laughs> My God, that was terrible. Uh, be careful. Right, come on. Damage boost me bat. Nice bat. Good bat. That's exactly what I wanted. I swear to god, I'm not losing another piece of power in this dungeon due to Acorn. That's weird, I expected it to drop there. God, that room was abysmal. Okay, that's the first, that's the very first thing that's actually gone run, wrong in this run so far. If I can save it. Right, as long as I can not take one more hit, I'll be fine. Right, I might be a little bit down on my Dungeon 3 split. Because I have to make a boot alteration. I did not intend to lose a piece of power. No. Wrong menu. Let's 
swear to god if that guy had bom bombed me. So I've got a bit... I went the long way around. So I have got a bit of a buffer. Um, for Dungeon 5 piece of power. Because I've actually lost count and then... Um, I can never work out how to... Keep track of how many I've got at the moment. Well, especially in this dungeon. Really? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for the bitch hearts. Miss the text skip. That doesn't happen often. My god, that quick kill, terrible. Uh, but that that boss, if I miss just one spin attack, that uh, kind of falls apart. Uh, I, I think I could have gained time on that dungeon as well. Uh, the Dongos trolled me as per usual. Let's see if my overworld movement is quicker now than it was. Seriously, both of them. Messing the wrong button to talk to him. Okay, so I'm going to slightly screw up my piece of power route here. Uh, screw up my menu in there. So I'm going to screw up my piece of power routing here. Long story short, um, I must not die in this run. Um, and I'm not willing to take the risk in here.
few enemies I didn't kill, but not happy. Oh, Flynn, I should have I should have practiced your pixel. Oh, I said I was going to do it. I think the way my RNG was going, I don't think I was going to get the uh, Dungeon 5 piece of power anyway. Time save on my PB. Um, I fell in the hole against Lamola. So that's about 15 20 seconds I can gain if I don't fall in this time. Uh, other main time saves, well, um, I'm not sure if it's possible considering my dungeon 4 time at the moment for me to better that. So I won't go gold on there. Dungeon 6 start time will definitely be improved. Hopefully I'm gonna get dungeon 5 there. And uh, I got that final boss as well. I mean I'm not having a 4 minute final boss when my my best boss battle is 2 minutes 17 seconds. My second monitor has decided to turn off its screen, and uh, I won't be able to uh, fix that until the uh, war century. For swag. All the swags this run. And um, surprise, surprise, if I'm up by a good margin going into bad key, I am definitely not going to be trying Rooster Skip. What? Do you even need to be wall clipped for that one? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure you need to be wall clipped for Quicklam Muller. Two seconds. It's like a bonk will make a difference in that kind of time. Jesus.
Right, so this was an absolutely mega split for me on my PB. So I'm worried of losing time on here. But I want to see if I can gold it. I mean, can I gold this split? Probably my best split of the entire run. In fact, I I mega golded this um, in the race on Monday, on Sunday rather. Hmm. Killing enemies could be good here. Yeah, I remembered to use the Dungeon 4 key, Flynn. jumping I should have been tactical bonk also on my PB um, I think I lost a lot of room a lot of time in the tile room but like I didn't lose too much time in regards to where I was in the run basically because throw and skip which I always fail on guess I'm doing this without the hearts then I can never get kind of the right angle to get a damage boost off that Stalfos guy. Actually, gonna get the safety fairy. Uh, just because I don't like entering Dungeon 5 with less health than I can. get the right position for that. Oh my god, that's actually a really bad position. Mm. There is time to save in Dungeon 5. I need to not be stupid. See, why don't I 
menu sooner normally. Why has it taken me this long to menu boots there? I mean, I could have menu boots after the uh, fourth dungeon, actually. I just love if you're mid jump, the bonks are just not bad for you at all. Hey, Disclude. And, uh, cheers, mate. I think 130 is going to depend on this Nightmare Key. My god, these guys. I mean, I just don't know whether he's going to turn around next and, uh, give me the time I need to. Kill him. I mean, yes, I can break out the powder, but breaking out the powder might be slower. Nice. Right, boots next. Boots, sword, then uh, sword bombs. I didn't properly see them. What my items was on. Oh my god, I hope that acorn was not meant to be my piece of power. Although, I think I'm gonna get a mid dungeon. Um, which isn't too bad, I guess. God, that was a save and a half there, dude. Why did I just, like, uh, why did I get the, um, the boots? I should have got the, uh, bomb. Maybe I can save hearts. Can you imagine if he um if he had a hitbox at that point? Like and you knock him into the wall and unfortunately you're on his hitbox and just take damage as a result of that. I hate this room, I always take damage. I need to practice that room. Get a quick way of uh Getting the blob. Right, um, don't ask me how I actually uh, managed to quicken them there, because I thought I'd failed that myself. So I'm not going to go for the safety heart just yet unless I fail it. Um, reason being, I'm guessing I'm pretty close on the piece of power count and I don't want to lose it through having to kill the jellyfish. I don't know if... Uh, don't know if you guys have noticed, but every time I make that jump, like now I'm just so extra cautious going to the chest. Like I don't even boots or 
feather or anything. I don't have time to wait for an enemy who could, in theory, just keep facing away from me all day. Don't soft lock. I want to go this dungeon. If nothing else comes out this run, I want a super quick gold on dungeon 5. Could have done with um, hearts there. I'm going to piece power this dungeon boss. Foul tech. What? That's the second foul boss tech skip of the run. What am I doing? Right, so um, I'm gonna try and use all that uh, piece of power quick kill. Uh, that was only three. If I three cycle this, I'll be happy. Can uh, get enough. Yeah, that's 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 fine. I'm I'm happy with that. As long as he doesn't come out of the wall. Oh yes, I got a gold. Finally golded this dungeon. Actually, I golded this dungeon during the race. Alright. <laughs> this is gonna come close. I must not screw anything up. So, I'm gonna... Hey, Hidden Scope. So, I'm gonna keep going with... Uh, what I was doing at the start of the run. Let's just play it completely safe. Like, nothing stupid, no screwing around. I mean, I don't, I don't have to rush, I just have to go fast. Actually, 
I would probably be better off uh, doing this with hookshot. And uh, the reason for that um, because peace power. That was very, very stupid. Right, okay. I know how to do bootstraps as of today. I'm not going to be doing it. Nope, died. Piece of power gone. I should have really died straight away there. Just kind of get over with. This guy is quite often a run ender for me. So that means I think it may be impossible for me to get a piece of power dungeon 7 as well. But I'm gonna try. Should have started counting. Why did I unequip the uh, hook shot? Could have saved an eye a uh, menu there. So I, I probably, yeah, I'm gonna lose time on here basically because I did my PB with Bow Wow. fail this room. They'll just keep contacting with the um, statue. Waste of time, and I'm probably going to die in the dungeon now. Why does that fairy have immunity frames? A complete waste of time, that is. Well, I mean, you waste seconds 
trying to get the ferry so you can actually survive the dungeon. And it just screws up like that. Spam that button way too much. Right. So I think I'll get piece of power in the signpost mitts. I've never ever screwed that boss fire up, ever. And the time when I'm on, like, super PB, but PB pace, I completely screw up. Just little things in this dungeon. I mean, it's going to make this quite a slow dungeon for me. Unless I can somehow save time on the dongos. That was because my, uh, my second monitor turned its screen off again because of idle. Even though I've got it set to never do that. Or oh, sorry, speedrun. And the reason why I actually need the second monitor is because of the fourth dungeon tile puzzle. Because my image is on there. And it wouldn't pick up quickly. Don't mind taking the damage. Um, the fact that I actually get is good. I wonder if anyone ever chest turns that one. I 
seem to remember that. I don't know if it was the PB or the race, but this uh, this boss, I completely screwed up. Good menu there. So I can't always uh, drop the bomb under like the hitbox. Oh, am I going to lose time on this? Oh, actually, if I get a clean um, signpost maze, I can uh, save time. Yeah, final boss for me on my PB was terrible, as was the signpost maze. Um, but I can't rely on the final boss being good for me this time, because... Aghanim could still troll. <laughs> Why was I going for boots there? I feel like I've forgotten something in this run, which is never a good sign, because quite often it means I have. So, I'm actually being mega slow and mega careful here. I just don't want to screw this one up. For a second now, I'd actually forgotten the uh, 300 rupees. Technically, I missed sub one hour best song hide by four seconds there. Depending on whether you count it starting or ending. My god, that menuing.
But I remember when I still had a, um, a plus one hour Dungeon 6. made that mistake before. I mean, I, I actually practice Rooster Skip like all the time and the amount of times like I am so close to actually doing a Rooster Skip um, practice during a live run considering I've I'm so far from being consistent on it. Almost did the hole there. taking risks at this point. Here's the advice on us, I'll have to have a look at that after. Because if that is the case, for sure that would actually make that split slightly quick. I, it's not a huge time save, it just takes me a while to get it lined up because I failed that, I failed that section 
so much and I'm just so anxious about failing here again. Just making sure I had enough bombs actually. My God, that could have been a run ender. My god, that... so much time lost on that one. Hey, Surreal. I know that I can jump whilst using the uh, Pit Eater. But at this point, um, there's actually only one of them I do the jump at. Um, I'm not confident with the uh, timings on the others. In fact, the next one I do is the one that I do it on. So, uh, how did your run go, uh, Surreal? Did you PB? Oh, congrats, nice. That's a PB, isn't it? So where did you shave most of the time? Oh, fuck. Okay, so I actually did screw this one up on my PB, so... I might not lose too much time by screwing up that one. Foul tech skip. I also got quite heavily trolled by the boss as well. So this was definitely a dungeon I could have saved time and obviously I could have and would have liked to save a lot more time than I have already, but those can't be choosers. Oh nice! Do you have good Dodongo fights then? Did not mean to do that. Also don't like being this close to the pit. Oh, you are kidding me! That would have made history. That would have been my first one cycle. Ah, oh, gain some time. Still on good pace. Uh, my piece of power route kind of got screwed on Dungeon 5. Um, so basically what happens is I lost count during Dungeon 3. But I think I think I underkilled in, um, in Dungeon 3. So 
I actually, um, I was really low hearts going into the Dream Shrine. I was one hitable. So I decided to kill everything in the Dream Shrine. Um, from there, I mean, I got... I got a mid dungeon five, mid to late dungeon five piece of power. I had to do the boss with it. What would this rooster piss off? Um, yeah, dungeon six. I lost my piece of power because I died to armor tonight. I'd say to newish speedrunners like myself, the Armour's Knight is probably the cause of the most deaths in the run. It's not that it's hard, it's just really finicky. No, not finicky. Unforgiving, that's the word. Two hearts per hit. I'm not sure there are any more big time saves for me for the rest of this run except except for the um, the actual final boss but you can never rely on time save on Aghanim you just can't, I mean some days he's just evil That tone, though. a piece of power in this dungeon. <laughs> I lose so much time on this uh, on this room. So often I'm tempted just kill the room. I'm not sure if I just double hit that crystal. Okay, I did. So that's going to be a time loss. I thought I'd double hit, but there's no way of checking. I mean, unless you remember off by heart what position all the blocks are meant to look like to begin with. How much time did I lose on that, anyway? Could still definitely sub one say. I think I'd probably lost about say forty seconds.
I don't know if anyone saw how close I was to throwing that run there. I almost jumped through the door. That would have been game over. That would have been rip the run. I'm not even going to mention that. Oh, what the hell? I didn't use the boots. Um, my final nightmare fight. What? Why I have a four-minute split? Um, two words: Agnim, Deathle. Death or skip took too long. And uh, thanks on that hook shot. Um, I'd like someone to explain to me how I can double hook. Sh well, I guess I didn't really double hook shot jump. How I can hook shot jump there, but I can't get the rooster skip. I mean, that's, that is definitely not the first time I've done that as well. I did that during the race, which I recorded, like, almost a one hour, 50 minutes on Sunday. <laughs> oh, I was, I was mad because I had, uh, I'd lost so much time trying rooster skip. And then, of course, I get the, uh, I get not just a single hookshot jump, but a double hookshot jump in uh, Dungeon 7. A rooster skip is a long way off for me. However, I am practicing rooster skip. I've been heavily practicing it. My, my problem with it isn't that it's hard? I mean, yes it is hard, but that's not my issue with it. My issue is how unrewarding it, like, how severely punishing it is if you get it wrong. I mean, I just feel terrified of even trying it in a run, or like, in any kind of run that could be a PB, just because what if I fail it? Right, let's see. Oh, that's the third tech skip I've missed. And, um, so you guys saw in Dungeon 7, I had to actually backtrack because I, um, forgot to, uh, click one of the switches. Right. And um, how did I gold that dungeon, despite doing that? Why do I still not get that? I mean, I failed that god knows how many times now. And it's like, I know I can do it. For some reason, I just screw it up sometimes. I've learned now as well on that one. Um, 
for the second shot, wait till he's um, text boxed. Because then he can properly screw you up. Right. You start firing a bomb like a frame before an arrow or something like that. And um, like my, unlike my race, I didn't mumbo before I got the instrument. So, I could be on for a time here, which is going to be incredibly hard for myself to beat. Um, because I'm golding all my worst splits. Well, actually, if I'm golding the splits, obviously they're my worst. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I'm going to gain time like when I come to try and beat this, if it does PB. Oh, in Dungeon 4, I... I golded that as well? But hang on, the whole puzzle took me forever. Hmm. That is true. I mean, I, I guess this, like... The weird thing is, this game seems to sort of go in cycles. Like, you have cycles of everyone hits PVs, then no one hits PVs. Didn't, didn't Flynn um, tie with the world record yesterday? Or was that earlier today? Okay, that split may have golded because, like, I may have actually pressed my split before I normally do. Oh, if I could sub 120. Actually, you know what, this... Oh, missed it. I need to practice the flim pixel. Oh yeah, this... the community for speedrunning this game is absolutely amazing. I mean... Yes, in a sense, everyone is competing against each other on the leaderboards and for times. But everyone wants everyone else to gain time. I mean... It's... Like, people that are kind of... Sort of competing against each other are helping each other beat their old times. I don't have to practice it, but I have to actually practice finding that pixel. Oh, no. I just dropped Moldorm like Zorlax does.
I can't remember the last time that I've actually dropped Moldorm. I'll reach out in a second. I need to get this buffered as quick as possible. my sword. Good, what am I doing? Finally! At long last! Oh, I actually gained time on that last split as well. Finally, finally got it. <laughs> oh, so I've been, I've been trying to get that for so long, and <laughs> I did it by three minutes as well. Finally, sub one thirty. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Um, you know, you know what? I mean, I don't know who did give shout outs to like so I'm just gonna say shout outs to everyone in the LADX speedrunning community that's helped me improve and finally get my goal and um, now <laughs> now I can finally edit these Ah, uh, there we are. Shout out to the geese, yes. Shout out to the geese. Um, so now I I have my new target, sub one twenty five. Um, but no, I'm I'm so happy with that. I mean, what can I say about that run, though? I mean... So... I'm trying to think what actually went wrong. Like, what went wrong that cost me time? And, um... Unfortunately, I don't think there's much time I can gain, so... Well, <laughs> that's fortunate, because it means I've got a PB, but... Okay, so... I lost, I lost time on Dungeon Three, um, due to the boss, and uh, due to, um, well, I had to use the alternative bomb route because uh, the Dongo's left me one bomb. Dungeon Five flawless. Um, dungeon Six. Uh, what did I screw on Dungeon Six? I didn't really screw up that much, just small little things. Dungeon 8, flipping out Blano. Um, definitely Blano. Uh, Nightmare Key Room. <laughs> oh, of course, I died to the Armos Knight. That is probably the biggest time loss in this run. 
Um, because that meant I didn't get two pieces of power um, in Dungeon 6 and Dungeon 7. So, um, of course, the death itself. But that, <laughs> I, mean, I can't shave much time off that. Dungeon 7. Um, I golded Dungeon 7.